Hey Libra, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you guys your bonus reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. You guys were the highest viewed of the air signs this week. So let's see what the universe has for you, Libra. Come on, God, give you give Libra some amazing. Hey, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, working on your money, honey. Now, usually this eight of swords is usually being mentally restricted. But for you, I get the sense that you're focused. It's almost like you're not going to allow anything to come in and distract or bombard you. There it is. The eight of pentacles. And hey, to a, oh, sugary diggity Libra. You're investing in a future love. Um, angels are saying, okay, correct that. The love is here and it's now. Okay. You're investing in the future so this love will last. So it's almost like you're looking at the long term um, for this love affair. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn in the somebody who has Capricorn in their moon placement. Look at these pentacles. Yes, Moses. Come on now for Libra. Ten of swords. Things are not happening. Yeah, look at that. Eight of swords. Ten of swords, seven of pentacles twice. So a lot of you guys are getting frustrated because you have to wait for maturity. You have to wait for something to ripen, right? Um, and what I'm also hearing, Libra, I feel like for some of you guys, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's almost like you're waiting on money. You're struggling with money. Look, but look at all these pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pentacles. Oh my God. So Libra, your reading is all about money. I feel like a lot of you guys are working on yourselves, your money, your job, your business, the future, the present, the past. Like, <laughs> kind of feels like you're just working on everything, okay? Um, the Seven of Pentacles is something is taking a long time to mature. I feel like this is something that happened or kicked off or got started in July of 2022. Ten of Swords is feeling defeated, feeling a little burnt out, feeling a little you know, overwhelmed, you know, got a lot on your mind, got a lot on your plate. I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially related to your finances or things that are important to you, you're mentally scrambling. Okay. Now, the good thing that I do, I do have to tell you is that it'll all work out in the end, right? Because these are my outcome positions. Okay. So, but right now I feel like a lot of you guys are mentally um, stressing and I feel like it's because it could be that money is owed to you or money is due to you, but it's taking a sweet ass time getting there. Okay. Here's energetically how to get this money to you, Libra, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Forget about it. Right. Two of Pentacles, distract yourself. Go find something else to do. Go hug your boo boo. Right. Go hug your dog. Hug your cat. Okay. Because you kind of sitting over here. Waiting for this to mature. It's like, can we eat it? Can we eat it? Can we eat it? Can we eat it? It ain't going to make it go no faster. Not only that, but the only thing you're going to do is burn yourself out, especially mentally. Okay. So find a beautiful, healthy distraction. We have swords and pentacle energy here. The distraction recommendation is either um, cups and wands. Okay. So either find something to love, find something to do, find something to pour your heart in, whether it's music, it's art, it's, you know, digital networking, whatever it is, find something to do, um, to help to remove and knock down and get rid of those obstacles. Cause angels are saying first and foremost, the obstacles, the problems, the issues, they only exist in your mind. They only exist in your mind. And angels are saying, and I'm here some of you say, no, Alex, they exist in reality. But guess what? Worrying about them, sitting there, watching them, watching them, watching them, what it's not gonna it's not gonna make it grow any faster, right? It's almost like you wake up at five o'clock in the morning, and at five o'clock in the morning it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit, right? And at 705, you're like, oof, I wish it would get up to 80 so I can feel comfortable. At 710, it's not gonna be 80 degrees depending on where you live, right? If you're in Ecuador, maybe it'd be like 80 degrees and 702, right? But it's always like universe doesn't move by your time frame or your speed. Universe moves by universal speed. And I always joke with people because I'm like, if it was up to man, right? If it was up to man to control the universe, 
it'd be like two planets and one star, right? Like we, with that divine timing, divine order, it's divine, right? But eight of pentacles, keep working on what you're working on. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Stay focused, put your head down, keep doing what you have to do. I do feel like eventually, um, angels are saying this is, but these are bad habits. Keep working on those habits that you need to work on to release. So this money does come pouring in. And one of those bad habits is mentally stressing out, wanting something to go quicker than it actually will. Um, I, I posted a meme on my community page that says, listen, you can't plant the seeds in the ground and expect fruit the next day. You can't. There's a whole lot of mental impatience here for you, Libra. And I feel like it's because of this new love or because this love is like you want things to hurry up so you could be okay with your boo-boo. And here with the 10 of wands, yeah, I feel like burdens, you know, things that you're carrying on your back. Angels are saying for a lot of you guys, you have a lot of responsibilities. You know what I mean? For some of you guys, you need the money to hurry up and come in. You need the promotion. You need the new job. You need a job. You need, you know what I mean? The increase. You need all of that quick, fast, and in a hurry so you can be good all around, good in love, good at home, good at work, good socially. But the, the you opened this up with the Queen of Pentacles, and that kind of says to me, number one, slow and steady wins the race, thinking about the um, Knight of Pentacles, right? But then the other thing that kind of came in too is make sure you're planting seeds all around. That's my Holy Trinity card, mind, body, spirit. Okay. So, um, this is also my therapy card. It's also my networking card. It's also my card of multiple streams of income. So for a lot of you, it could be time to start another stream of income instead of waiting on your check from work. Oh God. Angel said to me, especially for those of you who get paid monthly, Woo I used to get paid monthly once it was the best and worst. It was the best because I got to knock all of my bills out in one fell swoop, but it was the worst because if I went broke after the second week, I had two more weeks of brokenness. <laughs> yeah, I did. And it teach, it does teach you how to manage your money. It, it forces you to, to manage your money well. Yeah, a lot of you guys are thinking about how to better this relationship, how to better yourselves, how to better your cash flow. Two came out. See, there's the speed right there and impatience. Um, but that's the universe. Temperance is the universe saying, um, Libra, I don't care how many times you blink. I don't care how many times you pick up that Bible. I don't care how many times you then try to manifest whatever. It's our time. You're going to have to wait. Angels are also saying too, around November is when you will start to yield the, your increases. You'll actually start to see things grow and mature and actually work in your favor, right? Cause that's double Sagittarius there, by the way there she is growth herself and that is taurus and libra angels are saying okay anywhere between libra season and sagittarian season you will start to see growth and the good news um the good news for you guys is libra season is at the end of sep september so you don't have that far to go angels just said practice patience there you go there's your achievement right there seven of um seven of cups you're daydreaming be careful about be careful about daydreaming wishful thinking and just kind of being a little mentally or emotionally emotionally lax and that causes you to not do the best job that you could or it causes you to lose focus seven of pentacles again <laughs> libra it's coming it's coming i promise you you got the king, king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles Angels are saying for a lot of you guys, it's almost like you want to be better for your partner, right? You don't want to be the weakest link. You want to pull your weight. You want to, um, you want to, um, do your part. You know what I mean? I also kind of feel like with the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords, I just heard this because it does look like, again, there, there's a couple here, right? But I just heard, talk to your partner. I just heard that. Talk to your partner. Because I feel like you are stressing out behind the scenes and your partner doesn't know. But I feel like if you talk to your partner, that'll help to balance this thing out. Let your partner contribute if you have that kind of relationship. I really do feel like with the Queen of Pentacles opening, it's almost like you are taking on financial responsibility or the financial burden in a particular situation. And the universe is saying you don't have to. Talk to your person. I have Capricorn, Virgo, 
Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Taurus and Libra, Taurus, Taurus here, and that's it. Um, you got a lot, you got a boatload of pentacles on this table, Libra, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, and Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are here in your reading. There's Taurus, there's Virgo, there's Capricorn. So for a lot of you guys, yeah, you do, you do need to just ground, right? You need to ground, you need to be patient, you need to plant those seeds. Not only that, but you had the seven of pentacles three times, right? Uh, did we have the seven of pentacles three? Yeah, it, it, sorry. I didn't have to pick those up. One, two, and three, three, pe three pentacles there, three sources of income. So in, in other words, instead of working or the relying on your work income, you need to be planting seeds for future or side income as well. All right, my lovely Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I mean, that was an amazing reading. All on pentacles, and they were positive pentacles, especially the seven of pentacles. That's planting seeds, right? That's waiting for your harvest, waiting for things to mature and grow. You had the eight of pentacles here twice. That's being very detailed and very meticulous. So yeah, whatever it is that you're working on, Libra, you are caring for it like a newborn baby. And the universe is going to yield those rewards like a grown ass damn millionaire. All right, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you, Libra. Bye.